All right. So in this video, I will take you through a quick demo of how to install Cygnos on a Ubuntu machine. And we use the Docker Compose method. Like we'll manually install Docker Compose and then we'll install Cygnos, right? So let's get started. So if you just go to our docs and then go to the deployment method and we'll go to deploying with Docker. So there are two uh, methods of installing Cygnos. So one is using installer scripts. This is a recommended method if you are using any of the these following uh, operating systems. But if you are using some operating system which is not in this list, uh, we recommend you installing via a Docker Compose directly, right? So uh, the installation steps are pretty simple. Uh, and we'll uh, get to that in a minute. Basically, you have to clone our repo and then ensure that uh, Docker Compose is already installed and then proceed with installing Docker Compose with the Docker Compose YAML file, right? So uh, I already have a Ubuntu machine, which I just provisioned on Azure. And this is a two CPU, four GB memory machine. Uh, this should be good enough to install Docker and start testing Cygnos. So let's get started. We'll go with the, we'll just go here and then we'll just copy this instruction. So this clones the GitHub repo. So this is the machine which, which I just freshly provisioned. So this uh, clones the repo and takes you to a particular uh, repository. So we are installed here now. And then uh, we have to install Docker Compose first. So you'll follow this guide. This is the official Docker Compose guide. And it says that if you're on Mac or Windows, you can use the desktop installs. But if you're in a Linux system, you have to install Docker Engine first. <laughs> yeah, so first I think we'll first install Docker engine and then get ahead with that. So installing a Docker engine, we'll have to select the distribution which we are using. So we are using Ubuntu. So uh, I am on 2004 Ubuntu. So I'll just go ahead and follow the instructions for this. So do a sudo get update. and then install some other packages which is needed for this. Accept the requirements. Uh, download the official Docker GPG key. And then add the repo in the sources.list file. So all that is done. So basically we are configuring Ubuntu to access Docker's repo, and then we'll do a sudo git update and then install uh, Docker from its repo. So this is the step which installs Docker C and container D for you. So this takes 406 MB. This should take a few minutes. So once this uh, Docker engine is installed, we'll just check by running a hello world, uh, ensuring that the Docker engine is installed properly. And then we'll uh, go ahead with installing Docker Compose. So it takes a few minutes of time to just set up Docker Compose. Sorry, uh, we're still installing Docker um, C, so we are not uh, installed Docker Compose. So, and we'll just run a hello world command to test that the Docker comp Docker's runtime is currently correctly installed. So it shows that hello from Docker. So that sees that says that like all the steps are completed. Docker client contacted Docker daemon. It pulled an image and then it was able to run it, right? So we are set up with Docker uh, runtime now. Uh, so next we'll go back to the install Docker Compose 
uh, instruction and see how to install Docker Compose. So uh, that's the one thing you might need to uh, keep in mind too. Uh, so currently I'm in a uh, root user, but if you want to uh, run Compose as a non-root user, you have to follow these instructions. Uh, but for demonstration, I'll just follow the, will not bother to become a root, uh, to become a non-root user. I think uh, you can follow this guide to start setting this up as non, uh, non-root user because that is what is recommended. So we just uh, installed the uh, Docker Compose binary and then we'll give the required uh, permissions to it. So it should be available as a binary file now in this location. Yeah, so this is a binary file now. We'll just go ahead and start to see. So Docker Compose should be installed and then we'll just check if this is installed correctly. So yeah, so we have Docker Compose installed. It shows we are on 1.29.2 version. So this is good. Then we'll just uh, follow the next step. So there are like two possible setups. Uh, one is ClickHouse setup and then the Kafka and Druid setup. Uh, both uh, setups are pretty similar, but uh, uh, ClickHouse is a bit less resource intensive compared to Kafka Druid. So we'll just uh, get started with that. So this uh, runs Docker Compose on a Docker Compose YAML file, which we have. Uh, so this is starting uh, all these services as a daemon. So we'll just also quickly look at what is this uh, file doing. So I'll go to the GitHub repo. Uh, go to deploy, docker, click house setup, and docker compose.yaml. So as you see, this installs a few services. One is click house, then a query service, which is the backend which we use, then uh, signals frontend, and then hotel collector. So these are the four key requirements. And then we have hot rod and uh, application and a service to load the hot rod application so that uh, you can see something uh, coming up in the signals uh, front end. So this is what we have to do. So we'll go there. Uh, one thing to also keep in mind is uh, we, when accessing uh, the front end, we'll uh, have to access port 3000. So we'll just open port 3000 for this machine. So add in mount rule, open port 3000. So this should open port 3000 for us, and then we should be allowed able to access the front end from there. Uh, so let's see where this uh, Docker Compose installation is. Okay, so it seems it has uh, installed properly, and then we have the services live. Let's just do Docker PS. Okay, so we are as sudo, so we'll do sudo Docker PS. So this is all the services which are installed. This is Signals Frontend, the Signals Query Service, there's Signals Auto Collector, there's a ClickHouse Server, which is the DB which you use. And then there are uh, Locust Client to load the hot rod and the sample hot rod application. So cool. So we should be able to see this uh, now accessing this IP in the port 3000. So once you go there, you can like just enter your email ID and then your name. And yeah, so you all now have Signals dashboard running. You can see the different applications. So you can see the application metrics. Uh, you can see different traces there. So you can view traces directly from there. I'll not go into details of the features which we have because uh, I'll have a separate video for that. But 
basically now your setup and uh, running with signals uh, using docker compose right so as you saw this took less than uh, 5 minutes and then you already have a dashboard and getting data from uh, a sample application uh, next step would be to instrument your applications and then send your applications data to signals and for that you have to go to this section in the documentation this has like instructions for different frameworks if you're on java you can use this framework we've also given you like different ways of deploying if you're on domcat we have given you instructions on that you can if you're on python you follow those instructions so next steps would be to start sending data to your uh, signal installation so that you can actually see what are the features a product has and how it can help you monitor an application so that's all for now thanks a lot